Hey folks, Mavs Dad here with another watch review. I've got something really nice for you today. This is the Seiko Sportura Kinetic GMT model number SUN025P1. And this is actually a first for me because I've never reviewed a Seiko Sportura model, nor have I ever reviewed a Kinetic watch. And I would have thought out of all the watches I've reviewed on my channel, I would have reviewed those two different technologies, but it turns out I haven't. So what we'll do is we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the build quality, the features and the functions, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of the Seiko. This is not your typical Seiko watch box because it's white, most of them are blue, but because this is a, a Seiko Sportura model, it's a little bit nicer watch box. So there you go. Open this thing up. Watch comes on a black Seiko watch pillow. Super exciting. I'm sure you're all excited about this. There you go. Now, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this thing or not, I'm not gonna take off this green wristband, which if removed means I basically bought the watch. So I'm not gonna remove this. I'm not gonna take off all the stickers and the tags and stuff, only because I'm just not quite sure if I'm gonna keep this or not. So what I'll do on the left-hand side of the screen, I'll go ahead and put the basic um, specs of the watch, and then we'll talk a little bit more about that, about those specs and some of the other features and functions here in a minute. Obviously you've got a stainless steel case on a stainless steel bracelet. The case is 44 millimeters. It's 12 millimeters thick and the bracelet is 20 millimeters. Uh, it's a heavy, well-built watch. I mean, it definitely it has some, some substance to it. Not too heavy, but uh, it's very well-built, very solid feeling, really, really nice. You've got a, a Caliber 5 M85 Kinetic Movement. And for those of you who don't know what Kinetics are, Kinetics are basically automatic quartz watches. You have a rotor back here that instead of winding a spring, this rotor basically charges a battery. I'm trying to show that to you. Anyway, that's what it does. So you get the accuracy of a quartz and the ease of an automatic. Um, and what I'll do when this reaches 12 o'clock, I'll show you this uh, kinetic function. It has a six month power reserve. And by pushing this pusher up here, you can see how much time you have left. And let's wait, actually we can do it right now. So I went and pushed it and it went to the 40, went to the 50 second mark. So that's 20 seconds. So 20 seconds means that I have a, a month of power reserve. Now, if I was to push this and only went five seconds, it'd be a day. If I was to push this and it went to the 10 second mark, I would have a week. Of course, 20 seconds is a month. And if it would have gone all the way to 30 again, it would mean I would have a six month power reserve. So really interesting, neat little feature to show you how much charge you have left on your watch. Uh, it does have a sapphire crystal, which is really nice to see that on a sub $500 watch. Uh, it doesn't have that on the back. That's just Seiko's Hardlex crystal on the back, the see-through case back just because that would have been an added cost to the watch. And you really don't need sapphire on the display case back just because that's touching your wrist all the time. You don't have to worry about it scratching like you do on the main, you know, the main dial. Um, kind of like a silver whitish look to it. Really looks like a, uh, a, um, a Rolex Explorer 2. Really looks like one of those. It's nice too. Obviously the GMT function, which means Greenwich Mean Time, which basically Greenwich Mean Time is actually, a, Greenwich is actually a place in England and that's kind of like uh, ground zero for timekeeping around the world. Uh, and if you wanted to use that hand, you could basically use that blazed orange hand uh, to uh, look for a different, to uh, tell a different time zone. And um, some people do that, you know, some people don't. It can also display just AM, PM, or it can also display military time. So a couple different functions you can use the GMT hand for. And the reason I like this one is because it's blaze orange and it's not, it's not like, it's nowhere near the color of the main hands. Sometimes GMT watches, the GMT hand looks a lot like the regular hands. So it can confuse you a little bit when you're trying to tell the time. But I like this one because it's blaze orange. You can definitely tell that's the GMT hand and not the normal hour and minute hand. So that's really cool. Uh, you're looking at Lumabrite. That's Seiko's proprietary luminescent paint on all the indexes. And the indexes are raised, which I really, really like. Uh, it has, gives a nice depth to the watch. Uh, you obviously have a date display at three o'clock. And it's also waterproof to 100 meters, which is 330 feet. Now, a couple other things. Uh, it does have a screw down crown, which you don't normally see a watch that's only rated for 100 meters having a screw down crown. But because this is a Seiko Sportura model, it kind of makes sense. I mean, they just go a little bit, you know, go a little extra mile uh, for their customers. So that's nice to see that. Uh, the bezel is not movable, it's fixed. And again, that's for the, uh, the GMT function. The bracelet is a little bit higher quality than your normal Seiko bracelet. It has a few more polished surfaces on it. The case is highly polished. Again, being a Seiko Sportura, it's just going to be generally a nicer, better built watch. I mean, all Seiko watches to me are great. 
they're just great value for the money. Uh, but when you get up to the Sportura and the Anata line, you're going to a different level of Seiko, and that's definitely what this is. I'm trying to think of anything else here that I might have missed. Um, I mean, it's you know, like I said, it hev it's heavy, it feels substantial, uh, and it's very legible. I'm really surprised because it kind of has that silvery white dial to it. You know, I'm not a big fan of watches that have white dials just because sometimes they're hard to read, but this one is really nice because not only are the indexes raised, they have that black outline as well as the black outline of the hands and of course the GMT being that blaze orange. So it's extremely legible, even though it's kind of like silvery white dial, which is really nice. Really, really like that. So I like this watch. I do, I just don't know if it's kind of, I don't know if it's my style, uh, but I do like it. Uh, the Seiko uh, logo is applied. It's not just screen printed. Now this other stuff down here is screen, screen printed, which you can see the Sportura, Kinetic, and GMT. And I'm surprised it doesn't show the uh, 100 meters uh, waterproof, but it just it just doesn't show it. So anyway, there you go. Now also with the screw down crown, whenever you're, you're using this watch, now again, this is not a dive watch, but you can definitely go swimming, go in the ocean, take a shower, whatever you want to do. Uh, but you always want to keep this screwed in because if you don't, that basically jeopardizes the integrity or the waterproofness of the case. So always keep a, a watch with a screw down crown, keep that crown screwed in. Uh, never unscrew it while you're in the water. So try to think of anything else I missed. I think that's about it. Uh, if you like this watch, you know, please click on like if you want to subscribe to my channel. And I've got a lot of new subscribers and I really, really appreciate that. Please do so. And I'll put a little reminder lower right hand corner of the screen. Now this watch also comes in probably about six different variations of dial color, bracelet, you know, you have leather strap, uh, you have black IP coating. Some come with a blue dial. I think there's either six or seven different versions of this watch all around around the same price for about $300. Uh, I, you know, I like this one. Actually, I like this one and the blue. And I'll put links to, to all of those different variations in the description field so you all can and take a look at it. So really nice watch, very well built. You can really feel the quality when you hold this thing. And if, you know, if you're somebody that travels a lot, you know, especially overseas or across the country, that GMT hand could really come in handy if you want to you know, keep track of the time in a different time zone or use it for the 24 hour function. Or, you know, if you want to, you know, see the difference between AM and PM, which a lot of people just look outside and see if it's dark or light. But anyway, you can do that with this watch. So again, this being my first Seiko Sportura and my first Kinetic, I really, really like it. And I wish I could take all these stickers off to show you some more, a little more detail. Uh, you know, show you the rotor inside there a little bit better, but it's got that blue sticker on it. But again, I'm just not quite sure this is my this is my particular style. So there you go. So anyway, like I said, if you like it, go ahead and get out there and get one. And I'll put all the links in the um, description field for you. And until the next review, that's it, folks. I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.